Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today I got the 77 F-150 parked in the garage. I know it's been a while since I've actually made a video, but we're going to go ahead and tear off the bumper of this truck today. And I was wanting to get the bed off today, but we'll just see how this goes and then hopefully we can get the axle out from underneath of it. But So, plan is to remove the bumper, rear bumper, remove this for sure because I don't know what kind of damage is underneath here. I don't know if the tailgate's actually any good, it might just look good. And then the bed coming off. And I was looking online and I seen some replacements that you can get the back paneling. So I'm not sure if I can actually save this bed or what. I don't know. But you can actually just order this one piece right here, this whole section. So hopefully I'll be able to just replace that, but yeah. We'll uh, tear apart the bumper, a little bit of tailgate, hopefully get the bed off, back it back into the garage, tear the axle out, well not even back it in, but just back it to my garage, remove the axle, pull the axle in, then tear the axle apart. Alright guys, looks like it's just four flathead bolts, so hopefully we'll be able to rip this off here. Cross your fingers, the tailgate's still good. I don't really feel like buying a new tailgate. Well, actually, tailgates are pretty hard to find, I think, for these. That's kind of the problem about working on old trucks, guys. Nothing wants to come apart the right way. I didn't even want to thread out. Yeah, same thing. Same, same. Don't want to come out. Sound good. Ooh. Nope. Doing the same thing. Alright guys, moment of truth. If it comes off. Oh god, they might be married. <laughs> Scary parts. Oh, they don't feel good. You know, it's not actually too bad. Ooh, it was getting there though. Y'all can see some of this. I think it's just surface rust. Not too bad. Yeah, I thought that was going to be worse. Alright guys, looking at this, don't look too bad. It's like four bolts. So, one, two, and then two more on the other side over there. I've never seen <laughs> a receiver hitch like this before.
I think that's gonna be my biggest problem. But looks like it all plugs in right here. Maybe there. I don't know, either way, I'm thinking uh I've actually got an electrical issue going on with this uh right turn signal. So I'm thinking that now this could possibly be my issue. These wires here, it's possible. Seen some funky trailer wiring before and that might be it. <laughs> I just gotta get these bulbs out of here. They might just unplug actually. It looks like it unplugs right here. Or maybe that's just a connection. Maybe that's where they just fastened it back together. Anyways, I know that once I unplug this, the tail lights, the turn signals, the license plate lights, all that will be unplugged, including this trailer harness. And I think that this actually used to go to a CB radio. Because there's a bracket here on the bumper. That looks like it was intended for a CB whip. Oh so yeah, I'll grab some tools guys and uh, start taking this bump off. This thing's probably like 700 pounds. Smack me in the face. Alright, so I just tried to yank it off there and uh, I get some WD-40 and put it on there not seem very happy right now. Of course I wouldn't be either if I was trying to be removed from my home. All right guys, we officially have the bumper off. Uh, I almost dropped this thing on my face. Used the jack stand, so those were helping me out quite a bit. I know a couple times it moved on me and I thought it was gonna fall and hit me in the face, so. <laughs> Used the jack stands. The driver's side came off really easy. Uh, both bolts came out, passenger side. Uh, Y'all seeing, I actually had to use my angle grinder to cut one of the bolts off because it was just seized in there so hard. I used WD-40, I used everything. So hopefully in the next couple days we'll be able to get the bed off and actually clean up the rest of the frame and be able to take care of some of the brake lines and everything like that. Just, you know, some maintenance. Just get in there and really tear into it. But I guess you could say like this is the official breakdown, so to say, because I didn't really do anything before, so I've had this truck for like six months now, I think, but I wasn't joking, guys. We're going to get into this. I'm just 
it's kind of nerve wracking whenever you get into things like the bolts breaking off or they don't they strip out that's what happened it stripped out on me and then I'm stuck trying to cut bolts off and I'm sitting there thinking like where am I gonna get these bolts from so we'll figure it out we'll uh we'll get to it but I appreciate y'all watching uh, please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if y'all just now watched this video so we're actually getting into it guys so thanks I'll see y'all later